Morning. So, I came out this morning to rebuild. Yeah. This. Out of wood. And I will do that still, but I have gone brain dead. It's pretty simple. I mean, I have everything I need to 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 know looking at me. It's just not working for me. Um, sometimes that happens. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I got these these old saws. They're not really old, but they they've been left outside and caught in the rain and whatnot. So you know they're splitting and cracking and just not in real good shape. So, I'm going to replace these handles. I got this one and, uh, and this one. My kids use these outside and, you know, they get, they get left behind when they, when they build their stuff. So, we're going to replace those handles today. And hopefully that will get my brain flowing and I can actually do what I intended to do. Till then, we're just going to have a little fun. So, let's get started. I'm just going to drill out the handle, the little holes on each side. Um, it requires two different bits. One is going to be an inch and an eighth, and that's going to be the handle, the top part of the handle, where your finger goes, or thumb and finger, whatever finger this one is, pointer finger. And then the bottom part is just going to be an inch, and that's where your pinky goes if your hand fits in there. My hand typically doesn't fit all the way in there because I don't have huge hands but apparently they're bigger than the saw. So let's do that. Alright, so now I got it over here at the scroll saw. Um, you can do this with a jigsaw, a coping saw, a number, a number of different ways you can do this. I'm, uh, I'm going to use the, the scroll saw, one because I have it, and two because if I keep using it then then uh, my wife will see that I actually do need one that I I like so this is just a ploy to to get another saw because I absolutely hate this one but don't tell her I said that just just tell her I've been uh, toughing it out and I deserve a new scroll saw so let's get this cut out And as you can see now, we're over here at the uh, spindle sander. Got the small one in just to clean up the cuts. So as you can see, I'm at the bandsaw. I could have done this over at the scroll saw, or used a coping saw, or a number of other different methods, but uh, I had enough fun with the scroll saw just cutting that little bit I did, and I feel like using the bandsaw. So, let's get that cut out. And back to the uh, spindle sander to clean those edges. Okay, now we got the template lined up with the with the cutout, and we're just going to mark for these holes. Now I know what you're thinking. You should have done this when you drew it out, but yeah, I should have. All right, so now we're over here at the uh, router table. We got a half inch round over bit on there, so let's get that done. Alright, 
So now I'm at the vise with the handle in it. I have a center line drawn and I have stop lines. Now this takes it, you can, I mean you can go all the way through but I'm going to try not to. So you can't see but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to stop it right there. And uh, I'm going to use the other saw that I need to put a handle on to cut that curve. So let's get that done. All right, so there you have it. Now, it did take a, uh, a couple tries going just a little bite at a time to make sure the holes lined up with the holes in the blade. But I did not go through all the way. So that's good. So now I'm going to get over there and uh, do a little hand sanding, clean it up, and put a finish on it. So I decided that uh, with a pretty with a new pretty walnut handle the old rusted screws weren't gonna cut it so I got out my old slow speed grinder that I use for or used to use for honing my lathe turning chisels and we're just gonna polish them up alright so we went from this To this. Now will my kids leave it outside again? Probably. Um, I did use a boat grade varnish to seal it. Um, will they get in trouble if they leave it outside again? Yes, but it didn't stop them the last three or four times they left that one outside. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and uh, have a good day.